Hey guys, it's Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back with a new comic book day haul. Uh, so some of my pickups that I got from this week, and um, yeah, let's get with it. So the first book ended up being Savage Avengers number three. I was glad that uh, at my uh, LCS the owner was able to get an extra copy because I wasn't able to pick one up when it came out a few weeks ago. I've been reading this series right along and it's been it's been pretty good. Some people don't like it, but I I found it pretty good pretty good um writing by Gary Duggan and the art's been pretty good as well. Um as you can see on the cover that Conan's sword gets some of the uh, symbiote in there and um he gains some additional powers in the actual um uh, in the actual book. So uh, that was pretty neat. You know sometimes you see these covers on there and it kind of gets you excited and then Nothing comes of it from the actual story, but he, uh, yeah, he gets the uh, powers in there, goes right into his chest, and then uh, helps him defeat some of the bad guys in there. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, Savage Avengers number three, and on to this week's uh, pickups. So first book, Silver Surfer number two, Silver Surfer Black, and. Um, you know, Donny Cates is on this, tried more art, and uh, the second issue is, the art was just as trippy as the first one, which actually worked well with the story. Get that cool, like, uh, psychedelic artwork in there, bright colors, obviously space setting, um, and if you read the book, I'm assuming you guys all read the book by now, he, uh, Silver Surfer actually becomes the Void Knight, so uh, it's a key issue. And if you saw that incentive one for 25, that was actually a hot book this week. I couldn't get it, otherwise I would have put it on the uh, hot book alert. But um, the one in 25 is, I think, going for around 50, 60 bucks. So pretty cool if you pick that one up. The uh, next book is by DC. There was actually. I think this was the only DC book I picked up this week because uh, a lot of the other books like Batman, Detective Comics, I haven't been reading lately. Um, but uh, this is by DC's Young Animal. This is Collapser number one. Um, I picked up, is this cover B? Yeah. Cover B, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and the story behind uh, Collapser was pretty interesting. It... Um, focuses on a man that receives powers from a black hole. So I was like, all right, I'll give this a read. It's not something typical that uh, DC puts out. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I haven't read it yet, so, and then go from there. So like I said, he gets his powers from a black hole and it attaches to the chest and grants him phenomenal powers. So as you can see there, got a little something power there. That cover A was pretty cool too. It actually showed him with a a black hole on his uh, shirt, but I picked this one up because I, I like the colors a little bit better. So uh, let me know if you read this, see if you like it, tell me what you thought. Um, the next book, which I've been, you know, if, if you've seen it in my previous videos, you know right along that Immortal Hulk number 21, like I said, it's, it's the best read in, in Marvel out right now, Immortal Hulk and Venom. And as you can see, it's been an Eisner Award nominee, so for a book, comic book to get that, you, you know it's, they've definitely been doing something right, because they don't just give those out. Um, so it's issue number 21, I believe this is also a key, and I feel like almost every Immortal Hulk issue lately has been a key book, and this is actually, I believe it's the origin of General 14, I haven't read it, read it yet, but this will be one of my first reads. And I heard around the rumor mill that Immortal Hulk was going to be ending around issue number 25. So I don't know if you guys heard that as well. But uh, but yeah, it'd be pretty pretty sad to see if that ends in issue number 25. It's been an amazing read. If you haven't read it, pick it up on trade. It's been really good. And um, my one and only indie book that I picked up this week was from uh, Vault Comics. And this is Resonant number one. So I saw that cover and I was like, oh man, I gotta pick this up. This is, uh, as you know, a cover swipe of Why the Last Man, which is also another, you know, 
great read if you haven't read that that story arc. But um, I don't know too much about this uh, story, but from what I saw, it was basically a world plunged into chaos stands between a man and the medicine his sick son needs in order to survive. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. He talks about some medicine in there. I work in the medical field, and when I see up here, you see some of these chemical bonds, which is pretty neat. You see adrenaline, serotonin, acetylcholine, whatnot. So I thought that was a nice little touch in there for the cover swipe. And then you see in the background there's uh, you know, a little brain, so that's cool. But yeah, those are my uh, books this week for New Comic Book Day. Um, it was a rather light week with San Diego Comic Con this week. There's usually not a lot of big titles, not a lot of first appearances and, and new stories. So for me, it was at least a light week. Let me know what you guys picked up this week. Um, let me know what stories you guys are reading and so forth. And... I figured since it was such a light week, let's not you know let's continue this video with some with an unboxing you know because unboxings are always fun. So put these books aside. I got I got a ton of you know books that have came in the mail lately, so I got a bunch of unboxings to do later on. So this is some of my back pile I got here. So I got bunch of books here I actually don't know what's in here because it's been sitting at the bottom of my workbench for I don't know a couple of months <laughs> so uh, this will be kind of a surprise so let's open this up and uh, let's see what we got I believe this package uh, came from a YouTube auction that I uh, participated in. So let's see what what's in this box. It's nicely packaged. The only way to package is in Gemini shippers, you know. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right. Like I said, I don't know what's in here. But it's been a while. So it looks like we got some Spider-Man books. All right. I'm not even sure what these are. All right, let's start with the first one. Spider-Man. Let's see. Spider-Man number one into the Spider-Verse, and it's it's packaged up in here. It looks like there's one, two, three books in here. So. Yeah, it looks like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse number one, a special presentation of Spider-Man number one, Miles Morales' first story in the Marvel Universe. And as you can see, it's Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive. So if you know anything about these Walmart exclusives, you know, I, I live in Rhode Island, and I've looked quite a bit, you know, for several months when they were, when Marvel and DC were putting out these uh, Walmart exclusives. And to tell you, I have not found one Walmart store that has them, or Target store that has um, these, you know, special exclusives that, that have been coming out. So this is actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this book at all, and um, like I said, there's a few other books in there. So that was pretty neat. Uh, the next book. Oh, this is actually my first time getting this book. It's. Uh, Spider-Man number one. This is the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man, and um, as you can see, it's a newsstand. Uh, I believe this book came out in the 90s. Yeah, 1990. So the newsstand is the one you want to look for. It's a lower print run with the newsstand, and um, it's in pretty good condition. It's not the rare, this is like the, uh, you know, I know they have like the silver and the gold editions and whatnot and the platinum, I believe, but um, this is actually pretty cool. And it says it's printed in Canada, so it's a Canada variant. So that's neat. And it's polybagged, so that's nice. 
Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right. Next book. Holy shit. I didn't even know I bought this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Machine Man number one, the living robot. Wow. Look at that. Uh, so, 35 Slimer. This is Bronze Age, I believe. Um, this is Jack King Kirby art and writing. This is... Uh, this book's been starting to pick up a little bit of steam. Um, for I, I, I don't know if they're, they're talking about maybe adding him into the uh, MCU in Phase 4. I, I have no clue. But uh, it, it's definitely a book you want to look for because it's it's Jack Kirby art. And uh, Jack Kirby, Kirby art is some of my favorite art from the, you know, the 70s and 60s. And it's a really cool yellow cover. So, uh, wow, that's, that's pretty neat. See, it, it's, you know... You buy books for a while and it just sits there and you get a little surprise here, you know, surprise or two. And then, of course, it finishes off with another Spider-Man book. Peter Parker Spectacular, Spider-Man number one. That's awesome. There you go. Another great, you know, another great book. Been looking for this book for quite some time. And uh, th this is actually pretty neat. <clears throat> And it's in a, oh, it's in a, like a top loader. Yeah, it's in a top loader, so you get a little extra protection there. That's nice. Um, it's not a near mint copy by any means. You can see there's a uh, few little, you know, there's a little bend there. Looks like a little, you know, some some spine ticks, but you know, for a book this old, and I, I believe I paid like, I don't know, thirty five bucks for the whole lot. If I, if I remember correctly from that from the auction so that's actually a pretty sweet deal um, believe it or not and so yeah wow just a quick recap on those books spider-man number one Walmart edition spider-man number one from the Todd McFarlane series machine man number one Jack King Kirby and Peter Pack, uh, Peter Packer, <laughs> Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number one. Uh, all right, so that's pretty cool. So I'm uh, pretty excited with those books. So actually, so let's 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 open up another unboxing. Why not? You know, let's see what other gold I have in here. So this is a little bulkier here. So I'm going ahead and guess. That's, there's some graded books in here. What do you think, huh? Let's open up this bad boy. Looks like we got two CGC books here. That's pretty cool. Two CGC books here. Oh, got a little bit of camera movement there. That stinks. All right, cool. And uh, let's check these out. So the first book. Let's see, Rye number one, this is from the second series. I remember actually getting these these two books back. This is this came back from uh, I think this was Rhode Island Comic Con last year in November, so they've just been sitting there for a little bit. So Rye number one, this is a sketch done by as you can see Clayton Crane. It's actually pretty cool. He signed it and he put his fingerprint on there. And as you can see, this is a sketch by uh, Sketch of Bloodshot. So uh, let's take a look to see what grade we got. Oh, sweet. A 9.8. That's awesome. All right. So that's pretty cool. And then the second book. All right, put this aside. 
Oh snap, here we go. We all know what this book is. This is Ultimate Fallout number four. Miles Morales, first appearance. And as you can see, it is signed again by Clayton Crane in red, which is pretty cool. All right, let's take a look. 9.4, all right, that's not bad. I'll take it. Either way, is, um, as you can see, when I, when I bought the book, it was polybagged. So you never know when it comes to polybagged books how the uh, condition is with it after it's been uh, taken out and then, you know, graded and whatnot. But um, 9.4 is pretty decent. Obviously, we're always hoping for a 9.8, but it is what it is. I can see probably a few little things there. A little color rub where I could see where it, maybe it was uh, a 9.4. And if I look closely there in the bud, there's a tiny little nick there. You know, CGC doesn't put on their graders notes on the uh, on the slabs itself, so it's always tough to see uh, what they were thinking behind the uh, grading process, you know. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So uh, these were the two books I I got signed by uh, Clayton Crane when I went to the uh, comic convention. And uh, I'm pretty excited with that, especially with the uh, with that you know really cool uh, bloodshot sketch. I was I was really happy that that came in a 9.8. Obviously, Miles Morales is a really key you know key issue. The book's only going to go up in value, so if I say, if you ever find one, pick it up. Try to get us you know signed by one of those writers or artists. Get a slab. It's going to be a great investment in the future because his books are only going to go up. But yeah, really cool unboxings. I was actually pretty excited. Didn't even know what was in the uh, the first unboxing as well too. So that was that was really cool. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Mark Spector Comics. Out.